We are going to be um, working on aquaponics in my classroom and we're, we have a fish tank set up. Uh, today we got the fish and we're getting ready to put the plants in there. Uh, the plants will be in plastic containers with these, not holes exactly, but openings. What they'll be learning is in some habitats, some organisms can do well, some not so well, and some just don't live at all. We have the new um, science faucets that we're um, supposed to teach, and so those take up a lot of time. And with my school being a Spanish immersion school, there's that extra added level of vocabulary that needs to be front-loaded and experimented with, and the kids get familiar with it so that they're able to express themselves with all that scientific vocabulary in Spanish, which is not their native language. So. It, it gets really interesting. Even though we teach math and English starting from third grade, I think we've done a lot of reading in science and there's all that new vocabulary that they've learned and I think it's really helpful. I mean, they're learning words I probably didn't know until sixth or seventh grade. So I think it's really interesting in that way and I feel like the students have really grown with all the things that we've done with this project. The little we've done with the project thus far and what the project-based learning we had done before is, is really an interesting way for the kids to kind of get in there, get their hands in there, doing things and learning in the process. There's um, a lot of opportunities for questions that they ask and I don't answer and let them kind of figure it out. I try to guide them as best as I can. But I think with the open-ended questions and the open-ended research they're doing in Ingrid, it's really helpful. And they're just able to learn on their own and I'm just kind of letting them do their thing and watching them as they're going along. So I think it's really helpful. And I don't know if it's the way that I've presented it or if it's just my natural curiosity and love for science. I think it's been really good and one of the things that I really like is kind of getting that crossover between the four of them where it's not just okay we're in math and we're just doing math. Well we're doing science but we can do all this measuring and we can figure out the volumes and how much water we need and how much water has decreased with the fish tank and the mason jars that we're going to do. So I think that crossover, that unification or putting it together is really helpful because we do a lot of reading. In, in science and we get to add the math and they're learning that extra component of math within the science and they're going to be building some things so they're getting that engineering in there as well so and the technology I think it's really interesting and helpful for the students. <laughs>